Welcome to the MTA Institute. You would have received your welcome email by now. As mentioned, your MTA Institute trainer will contact you soon to complete your official enrollment. In the meantime, here are some things we'd like you and your employer to do before your trainer's first visit to your workplace. You will need to obtain a unique student identifier, also known as a USI, complete a language literacy and numeracy assessment, gather previously completed qualifications, Log in to My Profiling. Step 1 is to obtain a USI. All students undertaking nationally recognized training in Australia will need to have a USI. To create your USI, just follow these easy steps. Visit the USI website www.usi.gov.au and choose Create My USI. Have one form of valid ID ready. This could be a driver's license, Medicare card, passport, or any other ID listed on the website. Once you have agreed to the terms and conditions, enter your personal details, including your name, address, and date of birth. Next, enter the details from your ID. To finish, set up your security questions, then choose a password for your account. Once this is done, you have created your USI. Write it down, keep it handy, and keep it safe. Step 2 is to complete a Language Literacy and Numeracy Assessment, otherwise known as an LLN. The results of the LLN will give us an indication of your learning, reading, writing, oral communication and numeracy skills to determine whether you'll need any additional support to help you through this course. A link to the LLN can be found in the welcome email from the MTA Institute. Step 3 is to gather previously completed qualifications. As part of this course, you may be able to apply for credit transfer. This is where we transfer any relevant units you've successfully completed in a previous qualification to this course. This means you won't need to do these units again. Alternatively, you may be able to apply for recognition of prior learning, known as RPL. RPL is an assessment process which recognizes skills you've acquired through previous work and life experiences. RPL may be used to reduce your training time. So gather your qualifications and any evidence of work you have completed, for example, job cards, work orders, or invoices that will support your credit transfer or RPL application and have them available at your first meeting with your trainer. Step 4 is to log into My Profiling, which is the MTA Institute's learning management system. This is where you'll be able to access your online resources to assist you with your learning. A link to My Profiling can be found in the welcome email from the MTA Institute. You will need to click on the link in the email and then log into My Profiling by clicking on My Profiling Login at the top of the screen. Your username and password will be sent in a separate email in the next 48 hours. You should become familiar with My Profiling before your trainer's first visit to your workplace. So let's recap. Before the MTA Institute trainer visits your workplace, make sure you have obtained a USI, completed a language literacy and numeracy assessment, gathered previously completed qualifications, logged into My Profiling. One last thing. Please ask your supervisor to bring authentic copies of their relevant automotive qualifications to present to the MTA Institute trainer when they visit your workplace to complete your official enrollment. Your supervisor will play an important role in your skill progression, so we need to ensure that they have a qualification in the same industry stream as the course you're about to undertake. Your supervisor and employer will be provided with my profiling login details when the trainer visits your workplace. This will enable your supervisor to monitor your progress. The MTA Institute wishes you the very best for your training journey. Should you have any questions before your enrollment appointment with your trainer, please contact us on 07 3722 or email training at mtai.edu.au. MTA Institute, RTO number is 31529.